Hi, I'm Graham Simpson of Graham Simpson Photography and today it's an unboxing video of the Feotech AK4500. Now, straight out, Feotech are not paying me for this, but they have kindly sent me this review unit. So, uh, thanks Feo, you're awesome. So, let's crack on. Oh, I've got to pop the seals. <laughs> oh, I can't get that one open. Oh, I'm struggling. Right, that's it. Ripping. Ripping ripping seals. Not good. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Let me pull that up while you see you see. Oh, so pretty. And there's another box inside. Ooh, the accessories kit. Let's drop that down there. So you have an accessories kit which contains the AKF2 follow focus with brackets, cables and stuff. The hyperlink remote control and a versatile arm. We'll come to that one in a bit. I'll put that down there too. I'll throw that one. So, as always with Feo, they're well made polystyrene boxes. I do like their boxes. I've still got my AK2000 one. So, dun 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 dun. That's nice. Very nice. So, as you can see, we've got the main gimbal element here. Batteries, battery charger, extension arm. Feet. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? I'm going to have to read the manual. Oh, no, that's a stabilizer arm, I think. I think that's what that one is. The mounting plate. Lens arm, lots of cables. Okay, right. Where should we start? Start from the bottom up, shall we? This is the new. I, I have already seen a sneak peek of this one, I have to say. This is the new feet. Um, see, they spread out like so. These are a lot more solid than the AK2000 ones, I have to say. Uh, especially with them being so much wider but what I do and immediately notice is it's a grip it's actually part of the whole gimbal now rather than being this clunky clumsy th element at the bottom of the AK2000 that's nice so we've got rubber feet on there standard size thread on the bottom that's really nice Really nice. Obviously, I can't do anything about it, but that's got a really nice, very low profile spread. So, really nice. Like that. Put that back in there. A very light tube, branded with a Feo Tech on the top there. See that there? Uh, it's very light, so this isn't going to add any weight to it. But it looks like a. Whether it is carbon fiber, I don't know. Uh, battery charger, oh, got an extra cables in there. So your standard four batteries, this looks like the same same type that was on the AK2000. Can't get in the box. What have we got in here? Ooh, yep, I'm gonna have to read the manual. So that's like a, some kind of extension tube or something. It's only got the thread on one end nothing on the bottom so I don't know let's put that there for now and that's another type of cable so so we've got the USB cable that will be for the charger I don't know what that cable is for at this point it's a small very small or slightly bigger headphone jack kind of thing so we'll try and work that one out in a bit this is why I regret taking things out of the box because they never go back in the same way. <laughs> and then I've got to try and fit it back in here. So that, oh, did it. yes. Four batteries, the INR 18650, 2200 uh, milliamp hours at 3.7 volts. Made in China, designed by Feotech. I think they're the same as the other batteries, so at least I've got more. So look at these cables, that's a USB-C, ooh, I wonder what that one's for. USB-C, 
uh, USB 3, micro USB, and mini USB. Lots of options on the USB front. Not quite sure where they're all going. So let's look in this box. Oh, I've ripped it. So we have. Get them out of the bag, shall we? So that's your tripod plate screw. Very nice that it's got the little lever on it as well. If you haven't got a coin. This one's a black one. Uh, I bet this is to go with the uh, lens mount, lens support. Oh, it's got little wheels on it. Duh, of course it would. So then that, so this will have the wheels on it because then if you're mounting your tripod and you're using the follow focus, then you need some movement. You don't want it to be solid on there. So the little wheels on there will mean that that can turn. Very handy. Put that back in there. That goes back in there. There was something different about this, but I don't know what it is. So let's undo that. All right. Oh, I see. It's not a slide on one anymore. It's so you, have to, you put it into place and then that locks it in. Right, got you. So, as the arrow states just there, can you see that? Let's go there. What if I put that there? One focus. <laughs> There's a little arrow just here, which is telling me where I need to put that in. So you slide that in there and then pressing that down <laughs> doesn't do it. <laughs> Try that again. In, down. Oh, you just have to press that lever up a little bit and then that locks it in. You would then slide that back in. Right, I get it. Practice makes perfect. So up, down. No. Oh, it is a press. It is a press. You just have to press a bit firmer than I was. I was being gentle. Nice. So that to me looks like it goes, it's, that's a hot shoe mount of some kind. So is this where the follow focus mounts? I'm looking, I'm looking at the, the picture of the box. You see where it goes. Obviously I could save myself time and read the manual. But I think, let's, uh, let me do it on that one. There's a, this here, it may be part of that arm, I'm not sure. Or it may be, it's just a, it's a stabiliser, it goes on top, because it's got the hot shoe thing. Or oh, it looks the same size. It looks the same size as a hot shoe, so I will read the manual. I will read it at some point. Me man, me no read manual. Right, should we get the big one out? <laughs> That's in good. Right. Ooh. Nice. So, first thing I've noticed, it's got locking capabilities. So it now locks it in place. You know, if you ever take one out before, it would be quite flimsy and be swinging all over the place, especially if you're carrying it around. Now it's got locks on. So there's one here. See that there's one there. There's one here. And there's one there. Very nice. Oh, the battery compartment here has got grip on it. If you've ever, ever tried with very cold hands or wet hands to undo an AK2000, you will know how much that's a bonus. Uh, in comparison to the AK2000, the wheel is very stiff, very nice. Everything else about it feels the same. Like it. it. Does feel nice. Very nice. Try to work out what's clicking. 
Oh, it's that because it's locked on. Right, okay, so if I undo... Oh, it's it's a tiny, tiny... Oh, I wonder how long that one lasts. doesn't look strong enough at all. I'm assuming it must be tested. It's spring-loaded, so you can only get it in one place. But it is a very, very tiny piece of metal that locks it into place just there. And it's the same just inside. So I'd be... Oh, you, you can lock it in multiple places, so I could turn it to there if I wanted to lock it in. So there's two places on that axis that you can do it. So if you are putting it away flat that way, not that it makes a difference when you say flat, because what's the difference between that and that? Just the wheels up. I'm talking out loud as I review this. <laughs> so let's undo all of those. See, that's now how I would in Visage AK2000. So, let me just put that there. That's not heavy, but it doesn't have batteries and obviously it doesn't have a camera yet. But that's that. So let me see if I can lock this back up. So that one goes there. That's that one locked. Spin it around. That's that one locked. Spin it around again. And that's that one locked. And that can go back in there. <laughs> right -o. Do we think? Did that move? There we go. Alright, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? It won't go back in the box. Aha! That had not moved. That one. You have to undo that to slide it forward. So you can't... It's, it's one of those ones you can't... It's a lovely box. But you would have to rebalance so much every time you wanted to store it in this box. So, as great as these boxes are, I don't think you really travel with them. But that was that rambling out loud. So, let's move on to those other accessories. Shut that off. So, this is the AK4500 standard kit accessories kit. Nice tall box. Very pleasant. Whether, uh, this says standard kit but accessories kit so whether this comes with a standard AK4500 I don't know that's the standard kit and this is an, ex an extra pit but it still says standard kit so it's a bit confusing right uh, so this is the manual for the follow focus it's nice and in depth <laughs> Can that go there and be out of the way? Let's put that there. So what do we got? Okay, there's a fair few bits there. Do I need to get a focus lens gear? Oh no, it does have one. That's fine. On the other side is Chinese. Fantastic. I'm wondering whether this focus system would also work on the AK2000. So that's the hyperlink remote controller, that's the Chinese Japanese version of that. So, have a... Okay, oh, I so see there's a type C. Right, so this gives you all the information that I need for this bit. So, what shall I show you first? Let's go for the hyperlink. So, this is like a mini controller. Um, a mini handle for the AK4500. Uh, it feels about the same size as the Zion Crane, or Zhun Crane, or however it's pronounced. Um, it's got the wheel, it's got the screw thread because then that, from what I can already see, attaches, oh my word, attaches to that. Screw that on there. Right, so that would be something along those lines. Is that it? I assume. Something like that. I've now got to undo it, haven't I? Now I've done it up, so I'm not going to get it back in the box. But, good, solid, solid piece. That's not going anywhere in a hurry. So this has got mount two mounting ports, right? So you've got 
the quarter to twenty there and there. Uh, I don't know what that's. Uh... Okay, I can mount a phone on this, or somewhere. It's a phone port. That's interesting. So let's take all these bits out. USB Type C. So we've got a really long quarter twenty and two stubbies. I didn't notice actually. There must be two fixing points on the ha the main handle of the four five hundred because from what I can see on the image there, those go through there to fix it onto the handle. So. That's what those are for. That is for something else. What? I don't know. It does go into there, but not sure. Not sure. We will find out at some point. So that's all that and that and that. That's a Type C USB thing. So uh, that goes into that port that's just there. That says USB. It does exactly what it says on the tin. So sorry, let me go over these features. So what we've got, you've got your standard wheel, as you can see here. It is clickable as well, so that must cycle through the features. There's a very small LCD display. It's teeny tiny. Can I even get there? You go. See that the light there. It's very very small. Uh, a joystick, same as all the others. There's a power and mode, and the record button just here. Um, has underneath it the icons of a camera and a video camera so whether your mode cycles through that. There's a button on the side so you've got a USB port just here let's try and get the light reflect on it there. So you've got the USB port there and you've got a button there. Don't know what that's for yet that's to be discovered. This is a rocker switch so it slides either way so maybe that's no, that wouldn't be focused because that's what that is. I don't know. And then there's the trigger button on the back. That's a single, single press. It felt like it was a rocker button, but it's not. Um, but yeah, this appears to be a sealed unit, so there's no changeable batteries. I can't, can't take that off. Don't know. So let's put that there. Let's have a look at this. Wow, that's tiny. So this is the follow focus. Wow. That's really, really small. So there's a USB-C. No, that's not USB-C, is it? Is it? Oh, it is USB-C. It looked bigger. So there's a USB-C port on the back there and a fixing clamp that side. Uh, a single click is the reset confirm. A double click cal calibrate start point and triple click follow focus root setting. Oh, there's a button just here. Tiny little button just there. There's a light. I'm assuming there's a, there's a dot here and I'm assuming that's like a little LED. So that's that. That's the mounting bracket, mounting, not mounting, <laughs> mounting bracket for that follow focus. And then there must be some gubbins here. What we got? There's an extra rod there, which must be an extension. Let's take that out. Everything's got Fayotech written on it, so it's uh, very well branded. So that's just a, a little hollow tube. I can show, or oh, it's not really easy when you're going back to front, but it's just hollow. <laughs> See, hollow tube, and then this one big Allen key screws. Oh, this is ah, okay. So that's that USB is a full size USB to micro USB that will be to charge that. I reckon. And then this is full size USB on a springy cable. Let's go that there. Spring ring <laughs> to uh, my uh, to USB C 
which would be for that. So this will take the USB out of the bottom or bottom port of the AK4500. Various fixing points and the oh nice rubber follow focus belt lens belt. And that oh I see you slot that in. Um, I'll have to do some close-up stuff for this, but there's there's some very very small teeth just in there um, that when you put that through, line it up and press, and that's done. I mean that's quite good because that's quite easy to change because you've only got to slide that out, take it off the lens you're using. If you put changing lenses, change your lens. You probably still need to move the follow focus but it doesn't mean that that is tied to just that one lens. It's not attached. I've had others in the past which use like cable ties and stuff like that. So that's very good, very changeable. Is that it? Have I reached the end? Oh, no more presents. So that's it. So what I need to do now, that box stinks. Um, what I need to do now is work out how all of this goes together and have a go at building it and seeing what what it does. So as a as an unboxing, I hope you found that useful as to see all the parts laid out. Um, that's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I'm not used to this much gear. But yeah, this this is it. This is that is the full unboxing of the uh, Fayotech AK. 4,500. Looks really, really good so far. Felt really good. Every little bit felt really solid. Um, it's all metal, all well built. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to go and have a build of this, work out how to build it, <laughs> and then I will do a building video to, so you can see how it all goes together. And then it will be the next video after that will be um, actually using it. My first thoughts, some B-roll shots, how well it functions. We all want to know about this wireless function, I think. I think that's that's potentially the one that most people will be interested in on this, this gimbal. And uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my, my crib. <laughs> um, and I hope this top-down shot had some use of some kind for you. Uh, I thought I'd do something different instead of the standard over overhead shot or something. So. Cool, I'm waffling again. So thank you for watching. Click that subscribe button to be uh, to, to watch the next series of these videos about the Fayotech AK4500. And I hope to see you in future episodes. Take care.